All right, fellow YouTubers, Kevin Craig, Devil Toys and Two here. We're reviewing the Marvel Legends Build a Figure Juggernaut X Men Cable Figure. All right, so quickly got the box and let's look at the actual figure. Oh. We got the X Men symbol at the top. Legend series on the front. You got a nice little view of the Cable actual figure, X Men Cable. It again has bro. Also, I have a pretty boss looking picture of Cable here. Looking very cool. I like the scars on his face. Same picture on the other side. I can make muscle with my arm. Back a pretty semi action figure pose of him. Cyclone Soldier Cable perfected his fighting prize when a technology device suppresses natural psychic abilities. Uh, probably could have used a little bit more there. Right here on the back shows the rest of the figures is Wolverine, Kitty, Iceman, Havoc. Got freaking Rogue, got freaking Phoenix, got freaking Cable, and there's Deadpool. Don't you know who I am? I'm the juggernaut, you well respected female. All right, let's quickly look at the box. So now let's open this bad boy up. All right, and here is Cable out of the box. What? Deadpool? Oh, I'm sorry, Caleb boy. Did you not want me to be here? Oh, uh, okay, fine. You win this time, but I will be back. Okay, but anyway, this is Cable out of the box. So first, we're gonna look at the details, and we're gonna take a look at that articulation. Gonna lie, this gun looks like it can be used for two hands, and I do like how it looks, even though it's a weird kind of green color. Still wish it was an all black color. That would look pretty awesome. This gun too doesn't look that bad at all. They both just look like kind of like cardboard boxes. You can see they showed a lot of mechanics in there, but they just need a better paint job than just some metallic green, which I've never seen him with. Now the arm they gave him is pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie, I really do like this arm. It's really smooth. It wasn't stiff or anything. I like how it came out, and all the lines look very good. You see here, even on the fingers, it still has some metallic little effect on it. I like that. These gloves on both sides that do have a metallic plate on it. I've never noticed that in his costume before. Now this chest piece could have used a little bit more work. I do wish it was some type of shading in there. I will be giving the toy biz cable. I feel like I'm missing out a little bit. Even the bullet holes don't even look that bad. Like they could have put a little bit more effect in there. Some shading. Give us some dirt prints. Like you know, I know he's been through a lot of stuff. So let's see something like. I don't know. It just looks way too plain. They could have used a better type of plastic. Or at least gave it a better paint job. Though I do like the little uh, design of these little scale looking things. That looks nice. These lines don't look that bad. You can see like he actually looks like he has some cushion on the inside there so that doesn't look that bad either it's just kind of brushed over and it's a gray color probably could have did a little bit more detail in there but it doesn't look too bad and looking at his face that does look really cool i don't know if you can tell on my camera but he does have a black pupil there that's actually pretty straight the actual scars there around his eyes look very good and close to the mouth that looks very good. And once again, it's still a glossy type of skin tone paint that they use. As you can see here, his mechanic side just looks completely awesome. And I do like how they actually have red outline around the actual eye. That looks very cool. It does have this little logo on his arm. I never noticed this before. It does look pretty cool. But I do like how that looks. So you, he does have a little tat there. Inside of the joint, you can actually see the gray is a little different here than it was on the rest of the arm. The tone of the paint is different. Where the shirt looks like it's about to rip from his back muscles. I like how this kind of looks. It kind of looks like it's kind of flat. Should have been a little bit more bulkier. Back at the things that I guess are supposed to be more bullet holes there. Probably could have been done a little bit better. I don't know. Like how does it have bullet holes but it still looks brand new? Man, I wish I would have put some shading in there. You see here, the pockets do look very nice. You got one, two, three, four, five pockets on the back. They all look exactly the same with some wrinkles on them. Then he actually has this strap that comes around to the front that has a yellow clip on it. You see this thing that looks like a belt buckle clip on the back on the front, which looks very cool. Abs looking like he's been doing a lot of sit-ups and lifting weights. He squats, man. And he actually has some wrinkles there along the shirt. I do like that effect. It looks pretty cool. See here along the pants, you do get wrinkles there. That does look cool. I do like how the belt buckles are. Those came out very nicely. You can tell, which looks very cool, how they actually pulled this off with some wrinkles around the pockets that are on the side of the pants. A lot more wrinkles there along the back. So you have the straps just kind of blend in for the boots. Back we have the knee pads. They don't look too bad. And these look brand spanking new here. I don't know. Once again, they do have some bullet holes on them, but they just need more of an effect. Like, they could have did more. And he has these glossy look looking brand new boots. But I'm not going to lie, I haven't seen these on any other figure. You know, sometimes we get very generic feet. Like these feet, like how many times have we seen these on a figure? Sorry, man. And I'm not gonna let it go. These are, like these shoes are like they're extra comfortable. Like he has some Dr. Scholes in them. Okay, now if we actually look at the articulation on his finger, finger or figure, whichever one you call it, his toe goes back that far. You see it can pretty much not go up any stops right there, which makes this with the knee pad. You do have ankle pivot in there. You cannot twist at the shins. It actually does bend pretty far here. That looks like it's double jointed. 
he can't actually spread his legs only that far out. They do twist at the thigh, and I'm glad that the straps from the pocket are not in the way. That's pretty cool. You do get an ab crunch in there. I don't really know where it is. It's not showing, but you do get an ab crunch. You see how smooth that moves? Look at that. That is smooth. That's the smoothest ab crunch I've seen. No clicking or nothing. You see his arm can actually spread out that far. Go completely around. Twist at the upper bicep. Can make a muscle here and right, right angle, and he can pop the wrist. And on the other arm, you can see here, same thing, twist, move around, see how it's really articulated in there. And once again, you can pop the wrist. Actual head can actually look not that far down and only that far up. So not that much articulation in the head. Overall, this figure is not that bad, and I'm very glad that I finally do have a cable figure. And most likely, he will be posed right next to my debt. I don't think I should say his name, but it really is a cool figure. And this has been a review. Bye, Kill Craig Tech with Toys 1 2. I'll see you guys in future videos. Bye.